Welcome to Savannah. The trip is going to start now. It's Saturday. It's football season. USC is playing Utah today, and officially, I'm probably not going to see the game again because we're going on a fun adventure. Where are we going? We are going on a ghost tour. If you know about Savannah, you know that it is the most haunted city in the United States. So very spooky. It's Halloween season. We are taking a ghost tour in a used hearse. So. <laughs> yeah, a used hearse. So I am not looking He's forward to that. Scared. I don't He's really scared. deal with ghosts. This will be interesting. So we're going to showcase that tonight. Hopefully we can catch a ghost on camera. Uh, if not, you'll see Michael shaking. Yeah, I'll, his be, I'll be shaking and her dad will be yelling, laughing at me the whole time that this guy's a wimp. Last night, we enjoyed a night out. And if you guys want to check out what we did, here's what we did in Savannah on night number one. Wasn't talking a lot, but welcome to <laughs> Savannah night number one. Night number one in Savannah. We just went, we're just gonna have a low key night. Uh, we went to, what what's the place called? Full Street Taco. Full Street Taco, which is uh, a staple here, Mexican food in Savannah, Georgia. Little did I know I was gonna eat tacos in Georgia. <laughs> Anywhere I go, Texas, Georgia, it's always Mexican food. So uh, I got a cauliflower taco, pokey, pokey taco, and Olive is licking my leg right now. <laughs> and oh, stop. I got a, this is a food review with a dog licking your leg. <laughs> stop, ah, stop. Oh my God, stop, <laughs> stop. You got a little bowl of chicken, chicken bowl here, yeah. A bowl of chicken. Bowl of chicken. So we're gonna try this first. Actually, no, let's not try this first. We're gonna start with the uh, pokey. Oh. I know I you want this food. Them. Yeah. All right, look at this. It's a nice. Oh, it's like crunchy. It's like a crunchy this is shell. Cool. Yeah, so she's not eating anything tonight. We're, we're making her grilled oh, chicken oh. right now. You're not having any of this, um, okay? Okay, first bite, here we go. I like the close-up of that. It's been sitting out for a little bit, so it fell through the taco, but <laughs> taco <laughs> shell is nice. Um, I dropped your The tuna eggs. pokey it is good. I've had, I've had better. It's good, I actually really like it. Highly recommend this. Next, we're gonna try the cauliflower. I like the way you say cauliflower. Cauliflower. So this is what the cauliflower taco looks like. Taco shell looks like it got a little moist <laughs> and kind of lost its shell, but... It looks a little strange, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> mm. I don't know what that face is. <laughs> Next time I'm picking the tacos for you. I don't know what the sauce is in it, but it's something unfamiliar I'm not used to. Cauliflower is a little spicy, so if you don't like spicy, you don't get it. But like this, I'd say um, six out of 10. I mean, I'd rather stick to fish or meat. That's just me. Cauliflower, I've had really good cauliflower tacos, but now we're moving on to the big one. A nice chicken bowl, I think chicken and rice bowl. All right, smudging it all around. We got some guacamole in here. And here's a, mmm, it's really good. <laughs> he likes something. <laughs> I like the pineapple. It's kind of like pineapple on pizza. I'm a huge fan of. Out of all the tacos, you picked cauliflower. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy this tonight. Um, just, we're making our chicken still in a moment, and we'll explore Savannah tomorrow. So let's head over to tomorrow. It is the nightcap. Uh, we got our first Savannah rainstorm earlier today, so I was gonna fly the drone at the stadium, but we're doing that tomorrow. Where are we going tonight? Saddlebag. For everyone that knows who I am, you know I enjoy line dancing, and I, apparently it's a line dancing place. Is that all it is? Kind of, mostly. There's a bull, you can run a bull. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. We're gonna show you what the nightcap is. We just had tacos again for the second night, and uh, we're gonna explore the Savannah Bananas facility tomorrow, show you guys around, and explore the city of Savannah, and then hit some ghost tours at nighttime. So let's enjoy the night tonight, and we'll see you guys after. <laughs> Waking up this morning, waking up before it's getting nine. Kinda heavy on my shoulders, tracking down some moments back in time. I could have swore that I was in it, down to every minute. Don't know what I was sipping, but I felt like I was doing fine. Oh my. 
Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line. So we're going to the hearse tour now. Uh, I'm terrified. She it's, is... It's, uh, it's, really, it's really fun. It's not that spooky, but apparently he's still scared. So. Yeah, so uh, we're going to show you behind the scenes of me getting scared by the ghosts. And I'll let you know if I'm a believer or if I'm a chicken that runs out of the hearse. But apparently it's very, it's very funny. Uh, and it's not that bad compared to some other haunted houses that are here. So scary ones here so this one is nothing compared yeah so uh stay tuned here we go my first ghost tour in the history of my life and it has to be during the halloween time so let's go enjoy a ghost tour and uh have some fun this is so funny are your feet tingling yet Ew, no. <laughs> Rejoin what was now the Northern Union. And finally, Savannah has also survived countless global pandemics. But there are way too many of them, so let's talk in the short amount of time I have allotted with you, so just take my word for it. tour is officially over that was a joke in my opinion i was uh, that was not scary at one bit dinner where, where are we at right now we are at starlin yard it is a like shipping container food truck park 
Uh, it's super cool, super fun. So we're gonna enjoy some food, watch some college football, enjoy uh, the night, and we'll see you guys around, but <laughs> on to the next thing. All right, good morning. It is Sunday now, it's the last day here. And guess where she's taking me right now? We're in the middle of the graveyard. <laughs> the one spot- We're not even in it yet. Uh, apparently we are in the graveyard because no, we're that the is- we're the dueling. Yeah, dueling the dueling one. area. That's the little playground that you apparently see ghosts every single day. Yeah, the swings- um, We're staying on, we're standing on top of dead people right now. About 800 right here. Yeah, uh, thanks for taking me here. Uh, we're getting, what's it called, Ziggly's? Ziggly's, Zunzi's, it's South African. Yeah, South African food waiting on it right now. So we're gonna walk around the cemetery. Uh, I think you should. Think good thing should it's go during ahead. the day. Yeah, maybe let's let's take a stroll. Pretty spooky. Okay, let's <laughs> take a stroll right now. So another fun fact, this little dome dude right here used to be clear glass. Uh, and supposedly if you did something bad, they would hang you. Um, and leave you there for everybody to see. It's, uh, it's lovely in the background. It's painted now though. And it is a SCAD building, so. More fucked <laughs> up history of Savannah. They decided to build a playground right on top of the cemetery and uh, the dueling area. So now you drive by and you always see the swings moving by themselves, which is windy right now, so like, whatever. No, I'm pretty sure there's a ghost on there right now. It gets creepy at Look, night. It, it, it's a hundred percent swinging. Hundred percent. You got a swing right here, <laughs> and above it, you got an old jail. Like, look at this. And the graveyard. The, the window is busted open. Honestly, it is kind of creepy. We should just do a whole ghost tour here. Should that be yeah, our, our video? Be awesome. I have so many good places. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, more fun facts. So we officially made it into the graveyard. I think Michael is hanging in. Are you spooked out? I'm hanging in right now. It's not spooky. If you come here at night, it gets a little, a little skeevy. But anyway, I was saying one fun fact is when the soldiers were here, um, they didn't have anywhere to stay. So they kind of booted them in the graveyard. They were all chilling here, sleeping. They were super cold. It was snowing. Um, there are a lot of crypts here. And because they were very cold and hungry, they would take the bodies out of the crypts to burn them for warmth. Um, and they also kind of went and scratched out all the names, they graffitied all the gravestones. So it's kind of cool to go through. You can see all their scratchings and the like funny stuff they wrote on the uh, gravestones and the crypts that they ruined. Cause they were assholes, but I mean, they were cold, so. I just think it's interesting Ooh. that there's so many people here, like people behind us. There's so many people here walking around a yeah, graveyard. It's like, I mean, honestly, all of Savannah, you are walking on top of bodies constantly. So you get used to it. Like it's, it's this weird- But it doesn't make any sense. Like we're walking on a, like no one in, in LA and even in America, most places don't just walk through graveyards for no reason. Well, I mean- This is like a community thing. Like, hey, everyone, let's go to the graveyard and walk around. It's the same as like Forsyth. Like Forsyth is this big, beautiful park here, but you know, underneath there's like 5,000 yellow fever bodies and catacombs and tunnels. And people don't know that. You're just like sitting there picnicking. So like, it's pretty. You just have to not think about it. All right, so I'm gonna grab some food. Yeah, so zing, zing, zing bees, zing bees. I don't even know how to say it, but that's a South African, uh, South African food. So we're gonna try it right now. She says it's very delicious. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drive around Savannah. I'm gonna fly my drone around, take some more scenic shots, check out some more cool places. So let's enjoy this Sunday afternoon.
River Street. Here is the beginning of Savannah. We were here the other night at Saddlebags. We went line dancing here the other night, a little country line dancing. This is a place down on the river or the ocean, whatever you like to call it here in Savannah. The, the river. river. The Savannah River. And you can enjoy some nice eatery on the side here. It's a very old, old, old city. So this was the start of Savannah. It's where during the slave time, slaves came in here off the ships, would come in and you know, work the way up. She was just explaining to me that behind these old buildings right here is where the slaves were put and held and a lot of tragedies have happened and a lot of history. So maybe we can see a couple unique things about the area, but we're gonna walk around and check out uh, this beautiful town and this beautiful sidewalk and boardwalk. So let's go check out River Street. It's a street on the river, River Street. So we make it to our last destination. Where are we right now? Tybee Island. Tybee Island. And you turn around, look at this beautiful beach. I'm very used to the Malibu beaches in California. This is very different. I just told her this looks like East Coast. Like, it is East Coast. <laughs> but it just, it just screams East Coast to me. You have the beach houses right on the side, this long boardwalk walkway, and of course the beach. Michael uh, was asking for some interesting facts and I remembered about the bomb. He was very intrigued that I mean, don't like to report me on this, but there's a guy flying long, long ago and he had to abort mission. Something happened to his plane, so he had to drop the bomb. And it's somewhere out here in the water. Nobody knows where it is. They don't know if it's like triggered, so good. Hey, it's a good lost and found. Go find the bomb, <laughs> blow up the world. They couldn't find it, so who knows where it is now? We're gonna go hang on the beach. Let's get some cool scenic shots. <laughs> so, welcome to Diary Island. <laughs> All right, so before the sun goes down and we won't be able to see anything, this comes to an end of the Savannah trip. So if you guys enjoyed the Savannah Bananas, a little tour of ghost tours going around town. Thank you to our amazing tour guide here for uh, hosting <laughs> me for the week and showing me what a Savannah ban banana is all about. But you guys know the deal. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys can go follow Aubrey or Aubriana, however you want to call her. She's fine with both, but go follow Aubrey on Instagram. Art Philly Obs. 
I do these videos in a very weird way. This one was very uh, vloggy format, so I hope you like it. Uh, Savannah Bananas, go check them out. Go check out Savannah and come here and visit. Maybe do a little bit more than what we did. Um, even though we did a lot, but there's a lot more things to do. There are so many cool things to do in this city. Highly recommend. Yeah, come here during a hurricane so you can come surf some waves. Because right now there's no waves. Think about our sponsor, My Whistlebox. My Whistlebox is a doubly encrypted service that allows you to keep your private information safe and exchange information securely between parties. My Whistlebox offers you e-signatures, privacy, notes, whistle pages, a ton of other cool features, and a better alternative than email. So if you're using email to send or receive private information, stop and start using My Whistlebox. Sign up today to get started with your free account. No payment required. There's no reason to not start today. Happy whistling. So on that note, good night, everyone. And we'll see you in the next video, which will be probably LaTeX going there tomorrow. So go check out LaTeX University in Louisiana as I'm doing a game there. And that will be the next video. Can I do the hand thing? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. You got to do it. I thought you were doing it with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Adios.